Hi, welcome to Grab and Go. I'm Miss Karen, the Children's Librarian at the Oakmont Carnegie Library. I'm at my desk today, happy St. Patrick's Day, and this is our Grab and Go video for the week. You can see our Grab and Go bags look like this that are gonna be in the lobby this morning while supplies last. They are really fun today. Today, Miss Vicki, she preps all my crafts for me, and she made these cute little leprechaun traps. It says free gold and it tricks the leprechaun to climb up this little ladder and then you've got a trap with their gold right in there. They're really fun to make. I know that she had a good time making it. You can also make this cute little St. Patrick's Day sign. And we've got St. Patrick's Day traditions fact sheet in there for you. So stop on by the library and get a free grab and go. Our story today is how to trap a leprechaun. You can see I'm at my desk today. This is what it looks like. I've got Peter Pan above me. He's fun. <laughs> How to trap a leprechaun. Legend tells of tiny elves who visit once a year. They'll steal your treasures for themselves then quickly disappear. If you catch a leprechaun, he'll grant a wish untold. But if he gets away too bad, no wish, no luck, no gold. Oof. Small and full of trickery, they'll fool you if they can. I think I got him. Catching one takes smarts and skill, but most of all, a plan. The night before St. Patrick's Day, the leprechauns appear. If you wish to capture one, you'll need the proper gear. First, you'll need to build a trap, one he can't escape. Grab a box, a bottle cap, some glitter, glue, and tape. Pour some glue inside the box and build a rainbow slide. He'll take a ride to find the gold, but find he's stuck inside. Leprechauns come out at night so they can sneak around. Now close the drapes and dim the lights and wait without a sound. There he is, he's climbing up and he's sliding down the rainbow slide. Did you hear that? Crinkle, snap, quickly, check your snare. Shucks, he just escaped the trap. He could be anywhere. Poof, they are magical. Look at this, he left his shoe and in the shoe a note. Tiny words addressed to you, and this is what he wrote. Dear children, thanks for the glitter and shiny gold rocks, but I can't be trapped by a cardboard box. Your tricks were quite clever. Your trap was so great, but it takes more than rainbows to seal my fate. Signed, Liam the Leprechaun. It's a shame he got away, but please don't shed a tear. They look a little sad. Go enjoy St. Patrick's Day and try again next year. And in the back of the book, there's a note for parents and educators on how to build a leprechaun trap with your kids. But the fun thing is, we have one in our bags today, so you can build one easy peasy just by stopping by the library. So thanks for watching today, and uh, we'll see you for our fun uh, grab-and-goes next week. Have a great St. Patrick's Day.